Welcome back to Falcons in a Flash. This is Lauren Donald, the Magnet Site Coordinator at Sherwood Middle Academic Magnet School. I'm here with some of our wonderful student ambassadors, and I have some questions for them um, that they're going to help kind of give insight into Sherwood Middle, what it's like to be a student at Sherwood Middle. So, guys, I'm going to start with the question. Um, what is Sherwood Middle Academic Magnet known for? What's the talk around town? Tell me what you hear whenever you hear Sherwood Middle Academic Magnet School. Let's start with Caroline. Sherwood Middle is known for their academics and also they're known for helping people and students get into a good high school. Um, and they have some classes that are just meant for you to prepare you for high school and to get into a good high school. Great answer, Caroline. Thank you for that. Sarah, what do you think about that question? What is Sherwood Middle Academic Magnet known for? Yeah, when I, you know, tell people that I go to Sherwood, a lot of people are like, yeah, you go to that magnet school, you go to the smart school, because really a lot of, uh, it's an A school and, you know, there's just so many things that you can do in the school, you know, so many different classes and stuff. And I just think it's like a great place for like people to send their kids because they're really getting a variety of different like classes or clubs that they can uh, be in at Sherwood. You know, it's interesting you say that, Sarah, because I hear the same thing. That's that smart school. Um, I think it's something important to realize that whenever students come into Sherwood Middle, so we pull elementary um, school aged kids, so mostly fifth graders, from over 40 different elementary schools each year. Um, so we have kids that come in to Sherwood on totally different levels. We have some kids who are reading, you know, at a high school or college level. And then we have some kids who are reading on a third, fourth, fifth grade level. So I think it's interesting that no matter what level you're on, the teachers are gonna teach to your level. They're gonna help you um, improve upon your skills no matter what level you're at. And I think that's a good point, Sarah. Um, Addie, what do you think? What is Sherwood Middle known for? I think Sherwood Middle is known for it's it's very it's like it's very academically it's a good school and also the teachers are very nice and kind and they help kids a lot and they're very interactive. That's interesting coming from you, Addie, as well. You know, being virtual this year. Um, our teachers are working really, really, really hard to keep things still exciting. You know, being on the computer all day, every day can get tiring. And I think our teachers are going, doing a good job or trying to do as good a job as possible uh, to keep y'all motivated and keep you um, interactive with whatever it is that's going on in the lesson. So that's good to hear from you, Addie. All right, we're going to move on to the next question. Tell me something unique about Sherwood, something different that other schools don't necessarily have, Brennan. Um, well, we are a really diverse school. People come from all over the place, and especially new people, they come here, and it's very organized because whenever something bad happens, like the virus that happened this year, we are very prepared for that, yeah. And um, we have a lot of different clubs and everything, just something for everybody to find where they belong. I love that. That's a great answer, Brennan. Uh, Katie, tell me what you think about that. What's unique about Sherwood? Well, something that was different about Sherwood, like different than all the other schools for me, was the atmosphere. When we came to do the tours, the atmosphere seemed so like, accepting and welcoming and like even our tour guides like cracked like really funny jokes and you could definitely tell that the teachers really enjoyed what they were doing and did everything in their power to make the classes as enjoyable as possible it really just felt very welcoming good answer katie i think that um is an important part of what we try to do at sherwood um it's not just about learning you know the content, the book knowledge. It's about becoming a good person. We want you to have, you know, good social skills and good emotional um, and mental health skills to help you um, be successful in middle school. Middle school is not easy. Am I right? <laughs> middle school has its struggles. So making sure that you're happy and healthy um, and enjoying school is important to us as a faculty. Um, all right, I'm going to move on to the next question. 
If there were a new student in town, let's say a family moves from out of state and they want to come and find what school would work best for their child, what would you tell this new family about Sherwood to help convince them to come to Sherwood? And I'm going to start with Emma. I would say that uh, Sherwood definitely helps you get into high schools easier. And it definitely, their magnet programs are very good. Like they have lots of clubs and different like high school credits that you can take. So it makes high school go easier. Good answer, Emma. And that's interesting because our magnet theme, so each magnet program has a theme. Our magnet theme is high school preparatory. So everything that we do as a faculty um, in every classroom is us supposed to be preparing y'all for high school. So I'm glad to hear that you think that is what we're doing. So that's good to know. Caroline, what do you think about that? If there was a new student in town, how would you, what would you tell them about Sherwood to let them know that it's a good place to be? I would tell them that Sherwood is very welcoming and that all of the teachers are willing to help them on even if like they're not at the same level that the same that their classmates are. Um, also that there is something for everybody at Sherwood. You can get into clubs that you might enjoy. You can get an elective that you might enjoy like dance or band or anything like that. So I just believe like it's a very welcoming and um, diverse place where everybody should feel comfortable. I love that y'all all keep mentioning our clubs and our enrichment groups. I'm going to kind of throw y'all a curveball here. Tell me about one of your enrichment clubs or your groups that you have, or even like an extracurricular that you've done at Sherwood that you've enjoyed being a part of. And I'm going to start with Sarah. I like, like, our electives type. Okay, I like, uh, like, what I had, which has been, like, my favorite thing of, you know, doing is forensics because I want to do something in, like, law or like the evidence kind of apartment, uh, part of crimes and stuff like that. So last year I really enjoyed learning about all that goes into, you know, a crime or something like that. And it's really interesting. One of my favorite things about um, the forensic science program, which is unique to Sherwood Middle, I think we're the only middle school or high school that, for that matter that has a forensic science department. Um, I went into one of her classes last year and they were actually making a crime scene in a shoebox. And so they had to make this crime scene and then the rest of the classmates had to use the clues from the crime scene to solve the crime. And so it's just, a, you know, an easy way, not easy, a fun way to learn about a subject that is very important and that plays a huge role in our society. So I think um, being prepared for those types of jobs you know, who knew that middle schoolers should learn about crime scenes, but I think it's a really interesting subject that we have here. Um, Brennan, tell me about a club or an enrichment group or an activity that you're a part of at Sherwood. Well, I'm a part of a dance club and it's really nice because we um, do dances from, we do different types of dance from Africa, you know, uh, Mexico, <laughs> places like that. And we study those types of dance so that when we grow up, we can kind of use that and choose what we want to do. It's just a lot of options. And you, you would have never thought that it would be in clubs because they're supposed to be fun, right? But as you said, it, there's a lot of um, learning opportunities. I love watching y'all because y'all host your club in the commons area. The cultural dance club, I'm guessing, is the one you're in, right? Um, and so getting to see the students try out all of these new dances from all around the world, um, I think is really unique and interesting and fun. I think it's okay to learn and have fun at the same time, which is exactly what y'all are doing. Well, I think that's it for this Falcon and Falcons in a Flash. I appreciate all of our wonderful ambassadors being here answering these questions. And we will be back for our next episode soon. Bye.